Let's go, baby. What's going on, y'all? The Finner PSVR here. And in this video, as you can see, I'm going to be unboxing the newly released PlayStation 5 console along with the accessories that I could get at the time. As you can see, I am missing a 3D Tempest Audio Pulse headset, but I will find those in the future. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. Start out with the back of the box. Play like never before. Lightning fast feed, harness the power of a custom CPU and SSD with integrated I.O. that rewrites the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. So as you all know, this console is a lot faster than the PS4. It's faster than the PS4 Pro. And this is the best PlayStation slash the most powerful PlayStation system that Sony uh, has released. Uh, it is able to run at 8K, 4K 120 hertz or frames per second. And it also has high dynamic range, which is HDR. Um, got the dual sense charging station for both of my controllers, so I don't gotta worry about that annoying wire every time my controller dies. I have the newly released PlayStation HD camera. Um, move this out the way. Uh, personalize your gaming, your gameplay sharing, up your games, and step into the spotlight with smooth, sharp, full HD capture. Uh, you can run this at 1080p HD capture, capture every unmissable moment in sharp full HD picture quality, which you could not do on the last PlayStation 4 camera. I also have that in there, as you all know. I run a PlayStation VR camera. I don't know how to play PlayStation VR without the camera, but uh, this is new and improved. You can't use this camera to run PlayStation VR games on the PlayStation 5. You have to have this adapter right here, which you have to order from Sony's website personally. You put your address, you give them the back of your um, number or your serial number on the back of your breakout box and your PlayStation VR uh, box. And you basically see information and they'll get it to confirm it and they'll send it out. I think for me it took like five days, four days, but this actually plugs into the PlayStation 4's camera and you're able to plug this part in into the PlayStation 5. So. Alright, without further ado, we're going to open up this big girl, the PlayStation 5 disc version. Alright, sharp knife. Alright, so it's the sleeve of the oh, yeah. Man, yeah, this box is a lot heavier than I thought. I knew the console was big, but this box. It's kind of heavy. When I was taking it out of the next this naval exchange, that's where I got my PlayStation from. Um, I was surprised at how heavy the box was because I knew it was big, but I did not know it'll be this big for heavy. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna slide this to the right. First thing that pops up is your PlayStation 5 quick start guide. I don't know about y'all, but I'll read this because the more you know the better you can take care of yourself. I don't. <laughs> um, second, you have the PlayStation Safety Guide, which basically lets you know, don't heat up your system, don't have direct sunlight on your system. You will make your system hot, I believe, but this console runs quietly, it's powerful. That should not happen. But basically, don't do you know stupid stuff with your console. First thing on the right side, you have, man, the Dual Sense Controller. Let's get this out. And oh my gosh, this is the first time I've actually seen it close up. Man, compared to the PlayStation 4's camera, my PlayStation turned on, but it's okay. You still have the light bar, as you can see on this system. I'm gonna hit the button, that's how you turn it on. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. You got your lights on the side instead of in the front of the system now. It's almost like they moved these lights to the side. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work with PlayStation VR 2 when it comes out, if it does. Um, you see you got you know, colorless buttons and a lot of people was kind of complaining about this and why you can't have colored buttons, you know, like it is here. But they also did that with the PlayStation Vita system. Thought I had it. Oh, there it is, he got it. Cameraman got it for me. DJ Pick 6 got it for me. As you can see, these buttons on the PlayStation Vita were colorless as well. So this is not the first time that they, you know, haven't faded the colors out on any of their systems. Um, 
how it feels in your hand, the triggers, or I'm probably hitting a whole bunch of buttons on my console right now. But uh, the sticks feel, I feel like the sticks almost feel the same. Hold on. But as you can see, there's a little bit more indention in the controller here compared to there's a little bit more raised on the DualShock 4. The DualSense controller, you know, looks, man, this is nice. Your buttons are different, your triggers are different. As you all know, this has haptic feedback and adaptable triggers, which is going to be used in the game AstroBots or Astro's Playroom. And that basically is just unveils the gameplay of the controller and what the controller do. You have your share button and basically your options button, which is known as the create button. It's not share no more, it's create. Um, your options button has three lines on it. This feels nice, man. It's going to take a little while to get used to, but it feels good. Uh, you have your PlayStation flash button instead of the circular button that's on the DualShock 4. This is actually like a map like it looks like. Um, it feels good to press. Push it again, you can see the controller light up. Ooh, look at that blue. Computer blue. Um, you also have your 3.5 millimeter head port jack that you can connect your, well any really headset that you have. You have your mute button. That's right, you have a mute button because this controller has a built-in mic inside of it. Unlike this one, you just have the head port jack. This one you have a microphone built inside the controller and also you have a mute button. So if you don't want to talk to nobody, you're playing late at night when you're not supposed to be on a game, young kids, you can mute this and still play your game freely. So I'm gonna set this off to the side. You have your AC power adapter, which is gonna to connect to the back of your PlayStation for you to plug into the wall. There's something in here. This is the stand. Open this. As you all know, the PlayStation 5 is oddly shaped, but it looks good to me. So. Sony was nice enough to pack in a stand, whether if you want to put it standing up or if you want to have it laying down, depending on what your setup is like oh, on your TV. Oh, oh, stand up. You have an HDMI 2.1 cable. That's right. They said that this is a 2.1 cable. Um, if you've seen the Xbox unboxing, their system also comes with a 2.1 cable. And uh, this is your HDMI. HDMI 2.1 cable. Clarification, is this HDMI cable bigger or smaller than the HDMI cables we already have? Basically, I asked the guy in Best Buy because I'm looking to buy the LG CX, aka C10 uh, TV for the PlayStation. It's the best TV out for the 4K, 120 hertz, you all know. All my gamers out there, you all know who did your research. But um, basically, this cord is the same thing, like the ports. It's just a matter of the technology or wiring that's built inside the cable. That's what he told me. So if I'm wrong, could they gonna correct me in the comments? Cause that's what I've heard. Word around the street. Uh, this is your USB-C cable. As you know, the dual sense runs off USB-C, which is also used to charge Samsung devices. If you have a Samsung, which I do, so I have a whole bunch of those laying around. Uh, but I have the dual sense. So well, the dual sense charger, so I don't need it. Uh, and for the grand finale, man, I'm gonna have to lay this box down. The PS5, ladies and gentlemen, I have not seen this up close and personal hold at on, all. Hold on. All right, I'm trying to be extremely careful with this thing, so right, we're back. Oh man, look at this. Come on. This is actually the bottom. Move this out the way. The fact that I can hold this with one hand is crazy. Because it's, it's heavy. So, okay, if I get fingerprint. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. The PlayStation 5. Spin this around. This is the front. You have the same light strips. You actually have two on this side and this side. Uh, that's going to light up when you turn the system on. Uh, you have your air vents right here, which is why the console is so big because the main goal of this console is not to get hot, including all the power that's inside this baby right here. Uh, so you got the front. You got your disc drive because I do have the disc drive PlayStation 5. You have your power button right here. 
it has a little click. You have your eject button right here to take your disc out. USB type C, charger controllers, USB type A, I believe that is. Uh, onto the back, you have your uh, air vents. You have your USB type three, I believe these ports are. You have your ports right here. You have your HDMI 2.1 cord, or you know, once you hook it up to your TV, whatever cord you're using, it's going to perform with the average 1080p. TV or you have a 4K TV, it supports both cords, and you have your AC adapter power cord right here that just plugs into the wall. So this is basically it, man. This is the other side, it's just plain. But I want to scratch this up on this marble tile right here. So that's the front the side, as you can see, the black shines. Man, this thing is nice. All right, as you can see, there's a screw in there, and then it just failed, I have to fail. Close it back. Um, if you want to lay your console down, you're actually gonna put this on the back of your system, and it locks into the back, and then if you wanna stand up, you just put it right here, and you just screw the screw down. So I'm gonna find out how to do this. So, in order to put this stand on the PlayStation 5, um, you unscrew this little screw that's inside this little hole right here. You pull it out. You're going to place the end piece, the pointy piece. First, I have to take off this thing right here. Like that. Ooh, I dropped the screw. Make sure this end is facing this way so you can tighten it once you put the pointy part um, on the system. So, should just go on like this. Fucking line the hole up. Just gonna see what the hole is. Basically, just holds on to the one of the vents, basically. And. Harder than it looks. There we go. Then we just screw this in using a coin. I wish they would have gave us a screwdriver to do this, but I guess they was like, you know what? We're not giving you the stand. We're gonna give you the stand, and that's it. So I don't have a screwdriver, sadly. So. Basically what I'm using is a dime to screw this in. It is getting tired though. I feel like I'm a caveman right now. There we go, it's tight. So. It stands up like so, once you screwed everything in, and bam. This is what it's like standing up. I believe there are grooves on the bottom. They're like little lines at the bottom. There are grooves on the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna put it up here on this tile to show you, depending on, see, it's kind of hard to push. But this is what it's like standing up. And then if you wanna lay the system down, you unscrew the screw, put the part that's gripping the back of the system right here. Lay it on the side. Actually, I'm gonna show you. And this is how, this is how I'm gonna keep my PlayStation just because I think it looks better standing up. It's because sitting down or laying down, I don't like it. I like the vertical way, you know. Whichever way you like, you have the free to do whatever you want. But yeah, this is the PlayStation 5. So on to the charging station. I had a knife, didn't even use a knife. As you know, it says dual sense charging station, Spanish on the back, charge your controllers, free up USB ports on your PlayStation 5, click and design. And all of my accessories right now are, well, of course, the, the DualSense, it's a uh, Sony certified, so just like third parties you can get some of the accessories if you can't find these, but I had to get these because these are my favorite, they're the most attractive. I also have this little thing you can pull out.
have your got your AC adapter and your AC power cord. Could this be the same? Could this work in that? Maybe so. I don't know. But I'm gonna use this cords that they gave me. Oop. And here it is. It's actually a lot lighter and smaller than I thought. This is it. Oh, so as you can see, it says Sony, it has the logo on top. It's a nice little nice little design. You know, you can stand up. I'm actually gonna try to plug this dual sense up to it right now. We'll find out once I unbox the dual sense controller and as you all know or if you didn't know I'll let you know I have the PlayStation 5 Miles Morales launch edition launch edition it came with my PlayStation 5 bundle like I said I got it off the naval exchange so they had different bundles I guess then like GameStop and stuff like that but this game actually came with my system and uh, it was good that I got the bundle because it was either by the bundle or uh, get the digital version and I will refuse to get the digital version because I have too many games this tape is up here like glue man they won't plan with this they're making sure nobody get this controller Forgetting his words on the back. Heighten your senses. Discover a deeper, highly immersive gaming experience that brings the action to life in the palms of your hands. Have the feedback. Feel more with physically responsive feedback to your in-game actions. So if a bomb goes off, you definitely gonna feel it in your hands. Gonna feel like a grenade is going off in your hands without blowing your fingers off. <laughs> Adaptive triggers. Experience varying force and tension when interacting with your in-game gear and environment. So like Horizon Forbidden West, you may have an arrow and as you pull down the arrow, looking at the enemy, you pull it back, the intensity gets stronger on your triggers. That's something that's really exciting that the PlayStation 5 brought to the PlayStation 5 uh, DualSense and the system. A built-in microphone, chat online with friends, like I told you. A signature comfort, enjoy an intuitive design featuring enhanced sticks and touchpad. And the touchpad is almost the same as the touchpad that's on the DualShock 4, I believe, is just a little bit bigger, I feel, in a new shape. Oh, I ripped the box. So many boxes. And here you have it. My DualSense 2. But going down the line, I'm not going to know which one I got in the box and which one I bought from the store, to be honest. So. Uh, you got your dual sense wireless co controller guide it basically tells you about the controller so I'm just going to set this here and I'm actually going to plug this up I luckily have a USB uh, or I actually have an outlet beneath me so I'm going to plug it up so I'm going to take my cord put it into my AC adapter wham snaps let you know that it's secure it's a secure fit I'm going to plug this up into the outlet Thanks to this island that's in my apartment. And do this. Plug this up. It's a long cord, so make sure if you put this beside your TV, make sure you got some space in the back too. Uh, uh, I have some leeway. I'm gonna pick this up. Hopefully it does not fall. Please be secure, Den so basically you plug this up into here, like so. It's a little hole that can charge. Yep, dang, it's so hard to see. Bam, it snaps. Is it on? Huh, I don't know why. Ah, oh, there it is. It's alive! It's charging! And as you know, they have the. I need to have it leaned a little bit more for it to charge. I had it too high up. That's why. There we go. It's going to give you a little click to let you know. And now, both of the controllers are charging. 
Same as the DualShock 4. Um, had that sunset orange, I like to call it. It's like a, it's like a bright orange, but it's a same orange basically. It just looks better because of the touchpad. I showed you the PlayStation 5, the DualSense controllers, the DualSense charger. Uh, let's get all these boxes out of here because it's starting to get cluttered up here. Uh, last but not least, I really wish I had my 3D Pulse headset to unbox because I was really looking forward to hearing how it sounds compared to my Platinum headset that I have for the PlayStation 4, but it's compatible so I guess I'm not missing much. I will be unboxing the HD camera used for my streams tonight. So if you haven't subscribed to the Fender PSVR, please do that. Check out my streams. So as I said before, 1080p HD capture, background removal tool. So basically, you know, if you got something in the back you don't want anybody to see, you can outline yourself and you can stream that way. You don't have to see, you can only see your face. Um, and built-in stand. So it has a built-in stand similar to the PlayStation 4's camera. Um, except for this one. This one futuristic. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. I was expecting this to be a lot bigger. Because if you look at the trailers when the PlayStation 5 came out and they showed the accessories, this looked kind of big, almost bigger than the PlayStation 4 camera, but it's actually smaller and shorter than the PlayStation 4 camera. So, um, I'll be gentle. There it is. Got your two eyes, 1080p. Got your PlayStation logo. It also moves up and down. It has a little grip that's on the PlayStation 4's camera as well. It's almost like they made a little grip right here, but you're able just to stack it in your TV and then point it up or down depending on how you want it. And yeah, that's the PlayStation 5's camera. Um, Miles Morales launch edition PS5 game. Everyone knows about this game. This is like one of the most anticipated games. It's like a game that everybody get when they get their PlayStation 5. It says, be greater, be yourself, experience the rest of Miles Morales as the new hero, masters incredible, explosive, new powers to become his own Spider-Man. As you know, what happened in the, well, I'm not going to that, but if you play Spider-Man Remastered or the Spider-Man original one, you know what happens with him. So, uh, I'm kind of mad because at the place, you see that? They had something sitting on my dang on disc. Well, my disc isn't damaged, but they had something sitting on my case, and I was hoping, I was like, please don't have anything wrong with my disc, because I took the wrapper off. Like, that's crazy, man. But it's, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, that's everything, man. Y'all seen the dual sense? Y'all seen the dual sense charger? You seen the Miles Morales game? Um, these boxes still. <laughs> seen the PlayStation 5, and uh, that's really it. I'll also be doing an unboxing with the Pulse 3D audio headset for the PlayStation 5 once I get my hands on it. Hopefully it's soon or whenever they send out more, you know, stock. But I'll be looking forward to streaming tonight. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, The Fenner PSVR, do so now. I'll be streaming Astrobot. Oh, Astrobot. Oh, I guess it's Astrobot. Astro's Playroom uh, using the DualSense. It's going to be my first game. Also got Little Big Planet. Oh, Little Big Planet. Keep forget. Little Big Planet, uh, Sackboard, Big Adventure, and I have um, Call of Duty coming tomorrow because it is launch day for that. So, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. This is the Fenner PSVR, and this is Next Gen Gaming. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.